You do you boo. Cause they care, but it was so live. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Juliet Kana. I'm a food content creator on YouTube, on my blog, on social media. You can find the link to my blog in the description box. So if it's your first time seeing my face, I would urge you to please hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with someone, and make sure you don't miss out on new recipes every single week. So this week we're making something nice and refreshing. We're going to be making a watermelon lemonade. So I think we can call it a watermelonade. Instead of making a typical watermelonade, we are going to be making it a bit creamy and we are going to sweeten it with some sweetened condensed milk that's going to make it a bit creamy. The beauty about this video is I'm going to be showing you how to make sweetened condensed milk at home so that you don't have to go through the trouble of buying some in the supermarket. So for sweetened condensed milk, all you're going to need is some milk, some sugar and a bit of flavor. So I have my milk going here. I'll add my sugar. And I'm also going to be adding some vanilla. I feel like vanilla is a pretty, I don't want to say basic because vanilla is an amazing flavor, but it's a flavor that can go well with other things easily. So I'm going to add just a bit of vanilla essence and I am going to allow this milk to boil, simmer on low for about 20 minutes until it becomes dark and thicker, much, much thicker. So I like to make a big batch in advance and use it for pastries, for drinks. So I'm going to slowly simmer the milk until it starts becoming nice and thick. I will show you the consistency at the end of what you're looking for. And I put all the ingredients, all the measurements in the description box. Just check it out so that you can confirm whatever you need to confirm. I, uh, as the milk is going on and the condensed milk is going on, I'll show you guys how it looks. I had already made a batch earlier just to make this easier. So this, as this is going on, I can be making my lemonade. Let's do that. Next up, as our condensed milk is going, I'm going to squeeze some lemons. So I'm using about three, four lemons. I like to use these yellow ones because of the smell, but you can use the green ones. You can also use limes. It's you do you boo squeeze your lemons i also like these yellow ones because they have a lot of water it's not as stressful as the small green ones but um generally the green ones would be much much cheaper and they are also more tart than the yellow ones so there we have our lemon juice and then i'm going to blend my watermelon now, because my milk is going to have sugar and kind of lots of it, I'm not going to sweeten this right now. I'm just going to blend this and then if I need to sweeten it, I'll do it at the end. Let me use this. Put it inside. Is it just me or when you see watermelon, your thirst is just quenched immediately? <laughs> I love me some watermelon. It's so nice, refreshing and just the right amount of sweetness. So I've added, it, added in my melon. And then to help this along, I'm going to add my lemon juice and also a bit of sparkling water. Uh, you can use normal water, but you know the sparkling water brings some sparkle to your life. So use some sparkling water. Just a bit of it to help with the blending. And then we are going to blend this until it's nice and smooth. As smooth as it can get. Before we are done blending, I'm going to add in about six mint leaves. Blend this together. That's it, we're done. So, I'm going to sieve this just to remove the bigger chunks. Sieve it out just to get rid of the huge, huge chunks. Also, this is totally optional. It just depends on what kind of drinking experience you would like. Once you're done sieving, your lemonade is basically done. So I want to serve this and i have tasted this juice and my melon is quite sweet so it still has an amount of sweetness um 
Let's see, let me just quickly check on my condensed milk. Mm. It's coming together. It's coming together. It's almost there. Um, this is just going to be extra because I already have some I had made here. So let me serve this into a nice refreshing glass of creamy watermelonade. <laughs> Oh my goodness you guys this this was so good i have already drank a whole glass before i did the outro and i just want to make another short one small one to just finish first impression mm. ah this is so creamy it's so refreshing the condensed milk just adds just a, a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of sweetness. Then you have the refreshingness of the melon and a bit of tartness from the lemon. And this is just such an amazing drink. I hope you do give this a try. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Share with someone who might like this video. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this combination. Is it something you would try? Uh, would you like to see other kind of drinks? And also, finally, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's a great way to support me and my content. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.